Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Today is the 8th of September. 8th, October. Oct October 2021. <laughs> and we are here for Thorpe Park Fright Nights. And up, oh, there comes the swarm. Yes, there we go. We are here for Thorpe Park Fright Nights, and I am so excited. This is the first ever Thought Park Fright Nights that I've ever been to, so I'm gonna get a really good idea for what the event's about. I've heard that it's better than um, Orton Tower Scarefest. Are you all right, mate, there? Hi. Well, I should say, by the way, I am here with Mr. Josh himself, Mr. Oh. Josh Elam. That's how you say it, by the way, Elam, not Ellen. <laughs> and Zoe. Hi, plug and plug. Plug. But yeah, as I say, we're here for our nights. First time I've ever been. And I'm so, so excited. And a new big board. And a new big board for the Swarm Invasion. Um, which was here last year, actually. Oh. I don't, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's acting like a kid at the moment. Nah, you know what Joe's like. But yeah. Join us for our date here um, at um, Thorpe today. Not sure how it's going to go at all, but uh, yeah. Our, um, are you ready for are you first Are you uh, ready? For the first ride of the day on the Swarm? Of course. Absolutely. Right. Well, you see, we always come here and we ask ourselves, is there anywhere to store a car door? Well, there's a place to store an aeroplane door. Yeah, look there. Aeroplane doors. Right. Let's go to, oh look, yeah, Dennis the fire engine. So if you remember last vlog, um, we came to the Swarm Island. We named this um, fire truck here, Dennis. And there he is, look. There's Dennis. Good old Dennis, a fire truck. So right, let's get on the swarm. Just come off that 2012 BM wing coaster, that hashtag beast, the swarm. Oh my god, what that hashtag beast is a thing. <laughs> so is hashtag goated, apparently. We have so many hashtags on this channel, but yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Smoother than Icon, in my opinion, that was. Again, I've said it on their two's vlog, but I've known Icon to be a lot more rattly than that was. What do you think to that? It was your first time, wasn't it, Zoe? It was incredible. Was so it smooth. was it exquisite? It was like is it? Yes. Where does it rank? Uh, not sure yet. I need to give it a few more goes, I think. That's fair enough. What do you think, Josh? Just as good as I remember. Smooth. You can't really pick a fault with it. I didn't get one rattle and nothing on that. Like, it was smooth in the Millennium, smooth in Glasgow. No, we. Smooth in an icon, aren't they? Uh, neither did we. Fantastic coaster, don't you agree, Joe? Yeah, because it was raining this morning. It seems to be running a bit faster than it usually does in the morning. Yeah. Because obviously me and you we tend to go on swarm first thing and then it will hmm. warm up a bit. So, yeah, it seems to be running faster just because it's wet. So, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, running really well. Minutes just yeah, I, I agree. I really like it, personally. And I'll tell you what else I really like. This hashtag beast. Everything's a hashtag beast today. Um, but look here. Look at this, the stealth. I absolutely love this, I really do. And you can see some of that um, Friday nights that we'll be experiencing later. We've also got the scare mazes later, um, which is really, really good. Um, you've got the Lycanthorpe High and the Amity High um, buses here. Can't wait to see the performances on those. But until then, we're about to get a um, good ride on this thing. Still, are you ready, Joe? Look at that. Oh, that sheer power. Um, one thing to note about Stealth is it's been rolling back recently. Um, it's rolled back a lot um, in recent times. So will we get a rollback today? I'm not sure. Hopefully we'll get a rollback. By the way, when you hear me say rollback, it's when the coaster rolls back down that big hill because it's not had enough power to go forward. Um, so we'll have to see. But yeah, it's all perfectly safe, by the way. So yeah, let's get on Stealth. So, 
we have just come off of stealth. Oh my God. We had two rides on that, one on the very back and one on the very front. Um, the front was airtime the machine, or airtime machine, whatever you want to call it, airtime the ride. It was beautiful, got launched over that top hat. Um, and the back row ride was intensity the ride. It was more a pulley, a lot more pulley. What did you think of that? Zoe, it was your first time on uh, Stealth, wasn't it? I was terrified. Yeah. But it was incredible. But you did it! I did it, I faced my biggest fear. I'm so happy. What do you so prefer? Good. Front or back? Uh, maybe. <laughs> wow. Um, maybe back. Maybe back. Back. Well, oh, oh sorry, Josh. <laughs> I was about to say. Wow. <laughs> right, that's it. Bye. I'll go. I'll go home. Yeah. <laughs> right. What do you think to that? Beautiful. I know I need to ride it a few more times, but I think I'm slightly preferring over Icon. What? Ooh. Over Icon? Oh, that is some controversial topics there, by the way. Controversial. Um, we're heading over towards Nemesis Inferno. Have you just booked Darren Brown's Ghost Train as well, haven't you? I have, yeah. What do you think to the Stealth? Uh, yeah, it's running well. Again, you can tell the tracks are wet. Yes, yeah, absolutely. A lot, but Nemesis yeah. Inferno is on fire at the moment, so... Yeah, that look, look at it. Happen. Yeah, you can see the smoke effects. Um, they go yeah. all out for Scarefest. So they really... Oh, Friday nights. Friday nights. Well, well, can't say that. That's a forbidden word. That's like saying Voldemort in the Harry Potter books. You that say is. it three times in Thor Park and like, I don't know, you get ejected or something. Scarefest, <laughs> Scarefest, Scarefest. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, mate? Do you physically need some kind of mental help? But yeah, I don't know if we've mentioned it already, but we've got the scare mazes as well at four o'clock. Um, so really looking forward to getting on those. Those are really, really good. Well, from what I've heard anyway, I've not actually been in them myself. Because like I said, it's my first time going to Bright Nights, but I'm really excited for the scare mazes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave these guys to do their B-roll. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that vlog on vlog action. Just, 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 just film the back of it and then into each camera. Hey. There we go. We should do a shot where it's like one camera, and then into the other camera, and then in, into the other camera. That's too fancy for Icosa, that is. Like, that is, <laughs> that, that's way too high tech. Uh, that, that requires me doing some video editing, and <laughs> believe me, when I get home and I edit these vlogs at night, I'm super tired. So, like, trying to edit is a challenge in itself, but I do it for you guys, because I like to get them out, like, in like in a re in a recently in well, sorry I can't speak today in a decently good time or a timely manner. So right, let's get on Nemesis Inferno. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. <coughs> <laughs> just been on Nemesis Inferno, the inferior Nemesis to um, the original Nemesis in my opinion. I'm in my book, but you're, you, so I'm going to say that Nemesis is the best coaster in the world and nothing will ever top it. Well, it is the best coaster in the world, apart from Alpen guys. Alpen guys may beat it. I speak about that coaster a lot. What do you guys think to it? Beautiful. Incredible. I'm having to clench my teeth here because, oh, is it better than the original Nemesis? It is. Oh. Miles, miles, miles better. It's smoother, but I won't say it's better. Like, yeah. I, I love the intensity on the original. The original one is itchy, like, so good, but they're both unique in their own ways, like you said, but I prefer the theming on Inferno, but I prefer the ride experience on the original, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but, By the way, I'm going to cut away from them in a for a second because I want to show you the um, entrance, the trailers. Look how good that looks. Bloody hell. We're going to be going on this later. This is the new for 2021 Scare Maze. Um, I'm so excited to do trailers because I've heard so many good things about it from like, the preview event. Apparently they had to evac that last night. Um, but yeah, sorry, I was talking about Inferno, wasn't I? Yeah. As Joe always says, it's got the better layout, but the original Nemesis is... The better package. Better package, yeah. I feel like the force that the original Nemesis offers 
can't be compared to what Nemesis Inferno offers. Nemesis is more of a standard experience where Nemesis is very unique. You won't find it anywhere else. Um, and that's my honest opinion. But I'll share it in a video if you want me to. If you want me to make a video comparing the two, I will do. That'd be a pretty interesting video. Do you want to be included in it? Um, which do I have to, like, back? Um, I'll tell you what, you can back the flying fish. No. Why? I've never ridden it. Oh. Well, that could change today. Do you want to ride the flying fish today? Flying fish, everybody? The flying fish today? We need the cred, apparently. Right, let's head towards this good bit of goose. Saw the ride. Look at that. There we go then, I've just been on that Gerschlauer Eurofighter. Um, it was a, it was a bit rough, wasn't it? It was a bit rough. Just a bit too much. Yeah, like you were sat on the outside seat, so was Josh. We'll get his opinion in a second. That's how we feel. Yeah. Yeah, like I was sat on the inside seat, Joe was sat on the outside seat, as I've just mentioned. Um, and yeah, even on the inside seat, it was very questionable. I was uh, pretty stapled as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, no thanks to Ryan's ride off services. Yeah, I stapled you in though, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little too, bit. Too much. A little bit. Right, let's get Zoe and Josh's thoughts because it was actually Zoe's first time on the, uh, I was going to say the Wicker Man then. Hang on, hang on, hang on, no, no, no. It's both their first time. Oh, it's it? both your first time. Go on then, give us your thoughts. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> My head was like bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Everything in inversion. You were also on the outside seats though, weren't you? So it, it, that wouldn't have helped a lot. So we had as it compared to like Rage and, you know. I've not ridden Rage in like two years, so like I don't really know. But I think like I prefer the layout of this one. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm very like 50 50 with it. Like it was okay, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is one of the more high budget Euro fighters. So in terms of like, the theming, the theming is very intricate and the and the layout, they could afford to get John Wardley to do this. John Wardley actually designed the layout for this coaster. So that's why I say it's one of the more high budget ones. Um, it's also one of the newer Euro fighter models. Um, so the track type as well, you'll notice something like um, Speed having the older track type. So yeah, the, it, for what it is, it's good, but it's definitely the worst Euro fighter that I've been on out of the three that are in the UK. Because um, I know I've said it before, but I've been on all the Gershlowers in the UK now. Um, oh, I've been on all the Gershlowers, look at me, aren't I, I impressive? Gershlowers, completed it, mate. We need to get you two to Oakwood. You love Oakwood. Good, good old bit of megaphobia in Steve. Get on your last Gershlower in the country. Josh needs to get to Adventure Island. Yes! How have you never been to Adventure Island? It's a bit small. It's a bit small. I've never been to Adventure Island. Well, we'll get you out. Like, you have a go at me. Well, have a go at me. Yeah, that's it. We've decided. Trip to Adventure Island. To be fair, they're doing their winter event. And I, I talk about that in the video that's coming out today. Today? Today. 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 Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, today. Because today is Friday, therefore there'll be a video coming out and I'm talking about the thing. The thing. Wow. Yeah. You would have already been out by, by this point. I love it when you talk about the thing. The thing. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to go on next, but we'll see you at our next attraction. But um, yeah, let's head on and see what we can get on. In terms of the um, walkthrough experiences, by the way, and the scare mazes, they all open at three. As I've said at the start of the video, our scare mazes are booked for four, um, and all the scare mazes open at three like that, the, um, the crows. So we'll definitely be getting on that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take you over. Come on, Joe. Let, 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 let's go take a look at the crows. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> we're going on an adventure, Joe. Look at that though. Like there was gates here the last time that we were here. To be fair, when that gate and a little sneak peek, we just saw some hay barrels around there. So yeah. That they've actually like opened up the path a bit. But what yeah. do you think to this? Like, what do you think to the theming and all of this? Um, this is my first ever Halloween event where we're doing Halloweeny stuff. So yeah. I don't know what to expect at all. Like, I've got no expectations at all. Going in with nothing to compare it to. Are you guys ready to get chased off by some crows? 
Scarecrows. Scarecrows. Look at that. Look at that sign, though. Look at it. I'm actually really excited to get in this later. It's going to be really good. Let's um, let's go and head off towards our next attraction. surprise that was i had a really 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 good cycle there on the mondial top scan samurai it was running so much better than it was the other week don't you agree i mean you, you don't enjoy mondial top scan as much as probably me and josh do but what what's your thoughts on that i didn't like it but was it faster than like last time yeah but there's a few moments of air time which is weird from a flat ride um but yeah, I'm just not a fan of flat rides. You keep forcing me on them. For yeah. Reason. We'll, we'll go on Vortex later and get your opinion. I hate you. I know. But what do you guys think to that? Zoe, unfortunately, didn't think much about it, did you? I was like, almost crying. Oh, oh. Uh, how, how do you find that from a, a Mondal Tom, Tom, Tom Scan? Mondal Tom Scan. Tom Scan. Tom Scan. I was cracking jokes at the start saying it's a top scam. <laughs> I thought it would be really weak, but it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. It was not beast, not, not close, but for how it used to be, that used to be quite slow, but this one's actually really intense. I, I presume you've seen like, the videos on Twitter of it running like absolute crap. It looked like it was barely moving, it was like... Yeah. Because I'm not, not sure, I'll try and find them and put them on screen now if I can find the videos, but there's videos of it running really, really poorly. Haven't you not got one? What? Have you not got one from when we got on it last time? I do. Actually, I put that video in, on instead. But yeah, that is running so much better than it was last time. And I, I was really happy to get on that, actually. I was quite surprised. Um, I set my expectations really low to, you know, not get disappointed. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that. Look at it. It's doing its thing. Doing its uh, top scanny thing. Yeah. I think it can't quite get to, to, to like, vertical and spin it like that. Like, I think it's struggling a bit, but you know what? For a struggling, dying top scan, <laughs> you're doing well. Here is that, um, by the way, I wanted to show you, I want to twist the camera around and show you. Platform 15. Um, this is the scare maze, one of the scare maze for this year. Joe, how's that looking for you? Again, I've got nothing to compare it to, so I don't I don't know what to expect. So it's gonna be fun. Here's so one thing to, to know, note yes. For viewers, yeah, is that, so go read the sign. Yeah, so basically, if you buy in the package um, package of the um, three scare mazes, you've got to get to platform 15 first, um, and then within two hours, do trailers and Creek Freak. Yeah, really impressed with the lineup this year. Um, I know Creek Freak's been here in previous years, um, but again, I've, I've, I, I don't know what I'm gonna think to it. Again, I need to go in it and experience it for myself to actually get a grasp of what's going on, but are you actually, what is your issue? I'm being a scare actor. Oh, go on, go on, do your best scare actor impression. No, I'll just do it at yeah. random intervals throughout your vlog. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why like, we're, we're doing the weird camera angles here, but... We're going to just keep spinning. <laughs> so, right, we're at, so, <laughs> we're at, we're at instead of um, making you guys dizzy, we're going to go off to our next attraction. We've got um, Darren Brown's Ghost Train at one, which half is one. half one. Yeah. So we're probably going to get on good old Calusus. When I say good old, it's old, but it's not good. The sinking into it. Yeah, if you didn't know, this, the foundations for Colossus are actually sinking into the ground. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Look at the foundations for Colossus are actually sinking into the ground. No, that's news to me. So it's gonna be <laughs> rough as, um, as F word. Yeah, it's gonna be rough as anything. Let's get on Colossus. Okay, I'm gonna say to viewers, Colossus is my number one most hated roller coaster now. I hate it, hate it. That was genuinely the worst ride 
I've ever had on a roller coaster. I'm not exaggerating either. Like, Hero, right? Hero is better than that. <laughs> At least Hero had some grace to it. That was just... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. You you two have completely separate opinions though, don't you? Skrillex. the ride. <laughs> wob wob the ride. How did you find that before I go to Joe? Because it was, his it was smooth, I thought. I had my headphones though, so I'm like, wow. I thought it was alright. I will say it's a bit tight on my legs. So I, I like that it's like too short and it's a bit. I feel like I was losing a bit of circulation towards the end. Yeah, yeah. I I have to agree. Like the, the the restraints are a bit restrictive on. I would, I'd say like Intamins anyway, um, I'm going to go over here to vlog, um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say like the Intamin restraint style is a bit restrictive anyway. That didn't help though. I, I, feel, I feel like the Colossus restraints are like built really badly. Like what, what do you think to that, Joe? I still have a headache and we got off it about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, and we walked it's over to Darren Brown. It was so head bashy. I had to lock my head to one side just to stop it hurting. It felt like it was going to give me a bleed on the brain or something. <laughs> a bleed on the brain. Yeah, mate. We got a hemorrhage after that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head on Darren Brown's ghost train now. Hopefully, re ghost. remedy the no, 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 no. no. It's my no, ghost. It, it, no, no, Joe, Joe, it's my ghost train. It's my ghost train. It's my ghost train. Let's get Zoe's thoughts actually on Colossus before we go into Darren Brown's. I the same as Josh. I think it was amazing. I mean, like when we got to the final break room, me and Josh were just like laughing at each other because it was so much fun. I liked it. It's not that bad. When did you tell them <laughs> that they're wrong? I mean, we've already we, 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 we've already told them that they're wrong, but I don't get honestly. I don't get how we had such a bad ride, but you had such a good ride. It's very weird because I heard people in front of me going, "Ow, ow, ow, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I think <laughs> what it must be is that it must be wheel seats. Yeah, maybe so, it's like the back of it. Yeah, Witch so Doctor the, the Ride. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ting Tang. Walla Walla Bing Bang. So you guys are running on the wheel seats. Mix your Skrillex. But yeah, yeah. Nah, nah for me. Right, so we're about to go on um, My this. My ghost train. His ghost train, My apparently. Ghost. Or is it Josh's ghost train? Or Zoe's ghost train? We don't know. Claim it afterwards. Oh, afterwards you can claim it. Here we go, by the way. I wanted to show you this bit. So they've got all the bunting up for the like circus themed um, area for Fright Nights. Look at all this. Oh, they're uh, filming um, Inferno. But yeah, they've got the 20, um, the big 20 um, on the stage there. You've got your birthday bash. So yeah, it seems like it's a birthday themed thing for it's Fright Nights. It's been 20 years since the first Ooh. Fright Nights. And you know what I see as well, Joe? A good bit of spatting. Oh, should we have a beer after this? Yeah. I don't know if Josh and Zoe drink. Do you drink? Um, they don't drink. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. We can, have, we can have a drink with our food, I guess. We're going to go get KFC after, um, because it is, uh, uh, we're getting quite hungry now. Um, it is about, oh, half past one. That means we've got to get into Darren Brown's, but yeah. So let's get into Darren Brown's ghost train and go get a nice ride on this uh, VR experience. Let's go. Right, so we had another run through of um, Darren Brown's ghost train then. Um, yeah, I, it was the last two times I've been in it are definitely better. Um, the last part of the VR experience, one of my ear cups was missing and we didn't have the end bit, the end end bit. I'm not going to spoil it because these didn't have the end end bit. Um, but yeah, the end end bit, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, overall, good ride then. Um, I probably would have, would have been impressed with that if I had done it for the first time. Um, but like I was saying to these guys, actually, the more and more I do it, the more and more the effect wears off for me. I don't know, what do you guys think to it? Overrated. Overrated. I agree, it's a bit overrated. I expected a bit more, it's just... The animatronics were a bit, like, fake, if that makes sense. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't look very... It didn't, it's somewhat out of the pill in scare wise, it's a bit more to a younger audience. By animatronics, you mean like the um, motion simulation? Yeah. Yeah. I quite like the motion simulation. Like. I don't know. Again, the effect is wearing off me a bit. I'm not sure whether it's because um, I've done it so many times, but again, that was a different movie to what I've done before. So, Joe, what do you think to it? What do you think to it? Um, now, it's the second time I've done it. I can see what people are saying about the, the, the technology being a bit temperamental. Yeah. Like, my first headset, um, 
it was working, the, the, the video was working okay, but the audio was completely out of sync, so I'd have to look like completely over to the right to hear what was going on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was just a bit of a strange one, and you yeah, know, it's... Yeah. It wasn't the best ride, was it? It wasn't well, the best run through. Considering we're here for Friday nights, I'm expecting actors. And there wasn't actors, no. Many. So we that, came on a, what, a standard Oktoberfest day, and there was actors. Yeah. So why is it when there's actors everywhere in scare zones, there isn't any? Yeah, I get that completely. Um, and with it as well, yeah, I just feel like it could have been a bit better, to be honest with you. Um, but again, I enjoyed it, but could have been a bit better. Um, again, the more and more I walk through it, the more and more it gets less effective for me. Um, but yeah, so um, we're going to head off towards the Rumba Rapids now after some good old Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, we don't actually know where the Kentucky Fried Chicken is. So we've got to go find it. But Joe, I've got an important question for you. Yeah. You see that big rod in the air there, that big thing, that detonator thing? Yeah. Are you going to brave it today? I'll oh, never talk over a BM. Sure, why not? It's meant to be scary. Yeah. Scary day. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, we are on at the moment. We're on two o'clock or ten minutes past two. So, yeah, we've got plenty of time still. Um, we've got the maze at four, like I've said many times in this video. Um, so, really looking forward to them. Are you looking forward to some good horror maze action? Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know what to expect. You've done so, horror mazes before. I've never done one. So, yeah, let's see how these compare. But, yeah, let's head off, get some KFC, and then go on the Rumba Rapids. <laughs> Street theatre, what do you think to that? That was good. Yeah. I used to be a dancer, so I have so much respect for that. Yeah, I, I did appreciate the choreography. It was very well like rehearsed. Like, we were saying that, weren't we, while I was watching it? I'm trying to talk over the copyrighted music, so yeah. if you could say so, your bit. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it was very good. Very, very, very well choreographed. Yes. Um, yeah, so what, it's a good sort of 10, 15 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, a, a good show. Oh look, oh, 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 she's spotted me, look. But she's having some trouble with grasses there. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. I, the question is, are you um, Amity High or Lycan Thorpe? Oh, um, I think we're a bit werewolfy, both of us, aren't we, really? Well, I like Amity High personally, I'm, I'm, I'm Amity. And we're a bit werewolf looking, that's what I meant. Well, you, well you're Lycan Thorpe then. You're a bit werewolfy as well. Are you Lycan Thorpe or Amity? Um, Amity, maybe. Amity. Amity. Fair, fair. Oh, look. They're all, they're all coming over now. Oh. <laughs> Mate. Right, let's head towards our next attraction. I don't know what's going to be. Are we talking about going on Vortex or the Flying Fish? Can I get you permission yes? to take a photo of me? I'm not ready for photo! <laughs> take a photo of her! <laughs> I'm shy! <laughs> right. Let's head towards our next attraction. Hey Josh, guess what's open back up? Still, still. What was my voice break then? Still. Are you ready for your um, one of your top coasters now, Zoe? Yeah, boy. It makes me rubbish. Oh mate. After food, oh yeah. The announcement the self opened and everybody bolted towards the entrance. That was quite funny actually. Oh what? Oh, they're, they're telling us to go around the extended queue line. All right. <laughs> the <way you> are <laughs> they? Oh, oh, there they are. Oh. But yeah, I'm so happy that this is reopened. Oh well, yeah, well to be fair, it was testing all the way through the um, the street performance. So yeah, pretty exciting. What the um? Yeah. 
I, I like the um, the makeup that they, they have. The, the makeup is very, very good. Right, let's get on stealth. <laughs> so then, we've come out of the Amity area now, that general vicinity of the park, and we're heading towards um, the Crows to go there before our um, Scare Maze adventure. Um, again, I'm quite excited to see Joe's reaction to scare mazes because he's never done a scare maze. But I want to say, by the way, a massive, like, an amazing job, by the way, Thorpe, on the Alike and Thorpe and your Amity High. I really enjoy the actors around there. They're really friendly. They're really in character. Like, really in character. Like, what do you think to it? Yeah. Your initial really reaction with something like this? They were really, really good, yeah. So obviously, they did the sort of dance show and then. It was good how they sort of interact with you after that stage, sort of hang about. Yeah, I love how in character they are, they are as well. Like in terms of like the accents as well, um, just the general story. I really like it, and I like how the two, like Amity High and Lycanthorpe, are like it. You know, are almost like a rivals. A rivals. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. Um, which basically means that you know that there's a lot. There's a good story there to play with. Um, and that just made it for me, really. So, yeah. But yeah, let's head towards the crows and get some crows action. Are you ready for some crows action? Ah! Obviously, oh, I'm not ready for that action. Ah! Again. I'm gonna try and keep myself off Colossus again, unless these guys wanna go on it. No. We're Colossus. <laughs> Team Colossus, no. no. Wow. Love Colossus. Wow. Right, let's head towards this crow scare maze. Right, so here we go then into the crow's walking meadow. I'm not sure what to expect from this, I'll be honest with you. Oh dear. Is there something down here? I see people jumping. So his face. <laughs> Oh God. Is it, oh, is it enclosed? Like, is it like really, you can't see ahead of you? Oh dear. Oh, we got a right vlog blom on the go. Vlog on vlog on vlog on vlog. <laughs> oh God. Oh shoot. I do apologize if there's any swearing. I will try and bleep it out at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What, How are you doing? <laughs> she needs some Nivea she does. She's got a bit of a skin crack going. Oh, which way do we go? Do we go this way? Maze, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is it an actual maze? I didn't realise this. I thought it was a scare zone. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's another guy here. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there they are. Thought I was running off from them then. I keep thinking when I see these that they're gonna pop out. <laughs> Jeez. I'd love to do this in the dark. I mean, we we'll definitely will come back later and do it in the dark. See the old Sora Live scare maze there? Oh, look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you want to get, do, do you go past? <laughs> I'm going to slowly edge past you. You might need some Nivea, by the way. Skin cracking. <laughs> oh, look, you got all the names. I don't know if these link to any story. Where the crows go, nobody knows. I love this. Look at all this theming. Jeez. This is incredible. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Is this the final guy? I'm not sure. It's very steamy. It is very steamy. <laughs> I thought I was Zoe then. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> hello. I actually need a Say hi. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna slowly edge past you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that this is so cool. Wow, Thorpe, you, you know, you have done so well. 
Oh, here's, here's another guy, Joe. <laughs> Are you guys surviving so far? <laughs> oh no, here's one more. Oh, oh, he's, he, he's on the march, he is. He's on the march, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh wow. Right then, so we just come out of cruise and oh my God, that was incredible. <laughs> that was way more than I was expecting for a free scare zone slash maze. I'd call it more of a maze than I would a scare zone. It was a, quite a short maze for what scare mazes normally are. Like, would you agree? Did you enjoy that? That was scary. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good to be fair. We're in the scare mood now, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting pumped up for the mazes because we've got the mazes in 20 minutes, so. I think we just we timed it all well to get all the scary stuff in first. So yeah, it should be good. And then we come out of the horror mazes and then we got night rides all night. Yeah, so we're gonna head towards um, the Creek Freak Massacre. We're not actually going into the scare maze yet. We're going to platform four, um, 15, so 13, sorry. What? 15. <laughs> platform 15, sorry, um, first. And then we're heading into, um, well, the, sorry. We're gonna head into platform 15 as our first scare maze. We're heading towards Creek Freaks as our, as our second scare zone. Um, because again, we're just getting into the mood of it now. It's really, really, really good. Like the quality. Hey guys, hey guys. Icosa on YouTube, subscribe now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. You literally have no choice. They'll find themselves later. People's always do. I get so many comments um, with people saying, oh, I'm in this point in the video, I'm in this point in the video. I get so impressed because I couldn't find a vlog and find myself in other people's videos. So yeah, let's head towards the Creek Freak Massacre area. I'm not quite sure what the scare maze is called. Right, so here we go. We're at um, the, I'm not sure what this part of the park's called. Do you know, Joe? Rocky something? The Rocky, the Rocky Express. That's it, RMC confirms. Oh look, here's some scare actors. Oh, she's scary, look. She looks like she needs to go to A&E. There's a Creek Freak Massacre. Oh, look, the little blade spins on it. Oh, it's a scare zone now. It's where we go through to the scare zone. Oh, so it's not like a walkthrough like that one? No, I don't think so. Oh, but it's quite cool though. Are you ready, Joe? Oh. There was a rumor going around that my cousin Curly ate my chicken. So I gotta make sure that she's alive. All of y'all got all these so many those cameras things. We get a lot of these off our workers that don't make it out the song. Oh, that sounds like an issue that does. Health and safety. It's a mirror. I know Austin probably is, he got an excuse to smell. Oh wow, he's probably get a bath. No, we only bath once every six years, twice on birthdays. Oh, is, is it a treat then for your birthday? Oh, <laughs> it's such a treat. When I lay there in the cesspool, I just get to put all the water on myself. And it's time to do it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're calling for Jesus alone, boy. I can't hear you. Oh, look. Is he theming around the area then? Oh, oh Joe is Joe is getting some fright action. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the, the the acting is amazing this year. Look at all this. I really like this theming. Oh, look, there's the moonshine. Ooh. I'm just to be honest with you. I'm trying to avoid the actors again. <laughs> Then. So we've just been in all of the scare mazes for this year for Thought Park. Um, I am very, very impressed. Um, so I'm going to go through them and I'm going to talk about them one by one. I'm going to get my opinion, I'm going to get Joe's opinion because there's a lot to cover. Um, Hi. I will put a, a timestamp by the way if you don't want any spoilers. Um, I am going to try and keep it fairly spoiler free but I may talk about some things that you may not want to hear if you think about going in them. 
So let's talk about um, Platform 15 first. So Platform 15 um, was, I feel, the weaker of the three mazes. It was very, or I'll say it was very good, but... Well, you can tell it needed to be done in the dark. Yeah, it definitely needed to be done in the dark. Um, there, there was no doubt about that. It's a dark maze. If you're coming here to do it, book, try and book it for as late as possible. Now, um, one disappointing thing about the booking for the scare maze is you can't book the scare mazes individually. We can, but it will cost you more. Um, so you can't pick specific times for them. You've got to do them with a two hour time frame, haven't you? If you do one, you've got to do them all. You have to start with Platform 15. Yeah, you have to start with Platform 15. Um, so yeah, it was definitely the weaker of the three, but it was very good. So basically you went in, um, it's about a story about a locomotive that derailed um, and basically these young boys got mutilated by tar and the conductor dragged them off. Um, I feel that's quite important going forward to tell you that because the different parts of this maze depicts the different stages of that story, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I liked how it continued as a story. Now, in terms of scares, it definitely wasn't the scariest of the three mazes that we did, but it was still very good and very, very consistent. Oh, look! Hey, I toaster! Hey! Yeah, it was still very good, but it definitely wasn't the scariest, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'd definitely do it again, I definitely, but I would say it's not worth £10. If I was going to put a price on that one, I would definitely price it cheaper than the rest. Now, talking about Creek Freak Master. Oh, you, oh, no, Platform 15, fantastic if it's your first ever horror maze. Yes. Genuinely, like, there's a few little jumps in there, there's a few bits where you're a bit like, oh, I wonder what's around this corner, but because it was in the daytime, because there wasn't that many effects or tight spaces or nothing like that, it was very, very good for your first ever horror maze. Yeah. Like, it was mine. So, and this is coming from somebody, by the way, who's done so many horror mazes at um, Autumn Towers um, for the Autumn Towers Scarefest. I've done um, things like Sanctuary, best scare maze ever, by the way, the Terror of the Towers, the, um, the Attic, anything, uh, everything, anything and everything, basically. So I've done quite a few. So comparing it, I feel like I'm comparing it to past experiences when I talk about scare mazes. Keep that in mind. Now, Creek Freak Massacre, um, I thought was very good, but it was very, very similar to the Altonville Mine Tours at Alton Towers. Um, I don't know who did it first, though. No, I think I think <laughs> these did, did it. No, Alton Towers did it first. Because it started, because... Oh, um, Tell you what, you talk about it, I'll do some research. Yes, Joe's going to do some research, but it was very similar to the Altonville Mine Tours. Um, I liked it very much. Um, it was basically about the family um, and their goings on and the sawmill um, and basically it, they, they were cannibals like the um, like the family at the Altonville Mine Tours really it would basically follow the same story but I feel like Alton Towers did it better now that may yeah I, I feel like Alton Towers did it better I'm trying to be very careful with my wording here um, but it was still a very good maze and if you take it on its on its own merits I feel like it's very, very good. Would you say it's very good? Altonville Mountain Tours was first. Altonville, okay. So they've had time to perfect it then. That's why Alton Towers are, are, is so good then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like Thorpe, if you, again, if you take it on its own merits and you forget about Altonville Mine Tours, it's very, very good. Um, for someone who hasn't done the Altonville Mine Tours. Yeah, this guy. Which, I'm, which I'll be doing on Sunday. Ah, that was brilliant. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's very, very good, but it was, it's the first, because again, second maze I've done, it was the first claustrophobic maze I've done. Um, so it was very strange being separated, so there was sections. Yeah, because like, we got separated, didn't we? Well, yeah, there was like, um, there's was, there was four of us, and then they separated us down to just me and Ryan, and then there was another bit where, where one of the actors pulled us into like a very tight space. And, and separated us and told us to, to run away and then stuff like that. And Thankfully, me and Ryan went the same way. So it was a section where you can turn left and right. And I think both of us went right. That's how we yeah. yeah, and apparently that's 
a very Thorpe thing. They will drag you away. We, we've heard, we heard that, didn't we, going into yeah, like yeah. the Thorpe scare mazes. They will drag you away and they will do different things with different parties. And I really like that because Alton Towers is very, you go in as a group. Yeah. Thorpe is, you are in and as, as a group, but any of you can be yanked away at any time. It's very, very like, the moment you pull away from it, that's, I think that's when it really gets to you because you're just like, okay, now I have got my... Now I'm on my own. Yeah. And, and the fear is real. And I feel like that, that's what made it for me, being on my own. Because while it was away from you, I got dragged into like a separate little section. Yeah. There was like a section to the side and I got dragged in it. My God, that maze was amazing. Um, again, like on reflection, I really, really, really liked it. Yeah. Now talking about trailers, man, that was... There's so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it. that was the best maze bar the sanctuary I've ever been in. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Big statement. Yeah. Big statement. I really enjoy the different scenes that you went through. Also, the actors in there. I'm not saying the actors weren't in, into it previously. The actors like in the Platform 15, the actors in um, All Creepy the Maskers. Actors. Yeah. All brilliant. All that the actors were brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I want to say that. But the, the actors in trailers were on another level. That was incredible, wasn't it? They were play So they're very role heavy. So yes. with like... With like platform 15, you can just get away with making zombie noises. In Greek, uh, Greek, what's it called? Greek, Greek Freak Massacre. Greek Freak Massacre, you can get away with just shouting because the the, the, the thing they're playing is just, just a scary person. Yeah. They're not like, yes, they're cannibals and stuff, but there's not much you can do with a script with that, apart from, you know, just being a bit weird around people. Yeah. So, yeah, with the with trailers, obviously, because there was different sections where there was a dentist scene, there was like clown seats and stuff, there was all that, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so basically, trailers, from what we gathered, was the best of all Fright Nights, because it is the 20th years, um, 20 years of Fright Nights this year. Um, so that was definitely the best of maze. And my God, was that the best of. Um, they had it's like very clever how they did it. Yeah, well. they had instead a, of it just being you're now walking into this part of the maze. It was like almost like each maze was a new was a film. Yeah, because they had yeah. the, the posters on the um, thing yeah. before you went into the different sections, and that made it for me. Um, I felt like if you went into one section after the other, it would have been a bit jarring. But because they had um, you going through the different sections and you could see the posters as you went into the into the, into another section, yeah. that made it because it split it up. I think the thing that got you the most. Because you were fine walking through most of it. It was the doll room. Yes, the, the doll, doll room. room. You just the stopped doll dead room. and went, I am not going any further. Yeah. She just looked at all of them and went, one of them's going to move. One of them will move. <laughs> yeah, and one, and, uh, yeah. and a few of them did move. Now, yeah, I, I really like that bit. That, again, well, a scare maze to me should be terrifying. And that was terrifying. And It's because it, instead of it, appealing to what you're scared of there probably was a room in there that you, that you would scared be scared of, of yeah. yeah so instead of like for example creepy massacre if you're scared of cannibals and you're scared of like claustrophobic sort of spaces you're gonna find that you're gonna find that maze terrifying but you know like if you're scared of zombies and like being stuck in the woods you'll probably find up in 15 the worst but this yeah. one because it's a little bit of everything there's something to scare you. Yeah. There's, there's something to tailor to your fear, and that's and that's also why I liked it so much. And I also like the um, starting story. Um, you were going into this um, cinema, but it had broken. The power had broken. It's almost like you were going through portals, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, they were, that's what I think. That's what they were trying to portray. And then the um, end scene, the uh, the end scene, the effects and the smell pods. In all of the maze, actually, the effects and the smell pods are amazing. But in trailers, they had a massive. Um, Spock, um, you're, like a, you're like a huge firework, but inside. Yeah. yeah, and I really, really enjoyed that. So you know I think, what? I think that's the thing Creek Creek was missing. Like, but big effects. Like, yeah, for example, Platform 15, my favourite bit was the fire effects. Because they had big balls of fire, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like with trailers, my favourite bit was the, the fireworky section with the sparks and stuff. Creek Creek didn't really have that. I think yeah. the only thing that Creek Creek had going for it that I, I was like, okay, that's good. It's the fact it forced you to be separated. Yeah. And then you went into a strobe maze, and I was a bit, I was a bit at that stage, like, okay, I get it's a maze at the end of the day, but I want to know where I'm going. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just the separation for that one. But there was yeah. no big effect at the end. And the smell ports are amazing in all of them, but the end of trailers do it. There was a massive spark effect. Um, that room in general was just mad because you had a few different actors. I'm sure there's rat runs that re run between the end of that maze and some of these scenes because you had like the um, I recognize one of the girls from the clowns from the clown scene yeah. um so yeah bottom line is trailers was incredible and that's the, definitely the one if you if you were to pick between all of them I would definitely say trailers for me you know, is the best one they could do something really clever with it they might already have it in place so correct me if I'm wrong but if they know that you have reacted a certain way to a room they would get the actor from that room to appear in the end. Maybe, I don't know. So because I don't we, know. We, we, we did actually react quite a bit to the clowns, even though I don't think either of us are afraid of clowns. The clown turned it up and turned up at the end. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know if it's different for other people, so we'll have so, to wait and see. So talking in summary then, um, if you want me to go into more detail about the mazes, I'm happy to make a video about it. Uh, or I'm happy to talk to you about it down in the comment section below. But again, if I was to pick a maze, it'd definitely be trailers. If you was to pick a maze, what would it be? Trailers. Trailers, yeah. I thought you were going to say that. Um, and are you a fan of horror mazes? Yes. Yes. Joe is a fan of horror mazes. You heard it here first. Um, but yeah, we're sorry we, we rambled on for so long, but we just yeah, wanted to give you our full... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we wanted to give you our full thoughts and opinions because I feel like it's important letting you guys know whether anything's worth paying for especially because it is an upcharge these scare maze are an upcharge it's worth 24 quid yeah we paid. me and jo uh, me and joe paid 22 each for the scare mazes 24 24 and no, then was it 24 yeah, oh yeah because of an annual pass discount and then it's 28 for standard people yeah because it's 30, 10 pound each maze and if you get all three it'll be 28 yeah so you know what good value for money in my opinion but yeah, right, so we're going to head off to our next attractions now. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Probably going to catch up with Zoe and John. Yeah, because they unfortunately didn't book tickets for the mazes like we did. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't get um, we didn't get uh, to get their reactions to the mazes. Um, but you know what, we'll definitely go back in the Crow Scare Maze and get uh, Zoe some think, Crow's action. I think we want to go there at night. We'll yeah, that's, that what gonna, gonna, that's what I was about yeah. to say, get, a, get some Crow's action at night. Right, let's Ooh. go. I've not stood up for ages, now I feel a bit... Well, did I leave my coat bottle or did I put it down? No, I put it in my bag. Yeah, right. Let's head off and go find uh, Zoe and Joe. No, I'm Joe. Oh, Zoe and... Um, sorry, we got friends called Zoe and Joe, so that's why I said Zoe and Joe. <laughs> sorry, I meant Zoe and um, Josh. Josh. That's it, Zoe and Josh. Let's go find Zoe and Josh. A wild Zoe and a Josh again. Yeah. Well, did you have a good time in the mystical land of Thorpe Park while we went on the mazes? Sorry, oh, Ryan. Throw your balls at him. What balls? Your poker balls. Oh, I choose you. Wow, that was good. What? That wasn't a very good effort. But yeah, we've just been on the flying fish. What a ride. I enjoyed myself way too much on that. I had my hands all the way up. Mate, what, what did you think to flying fish? <laughs> that that's your eye. Right. Like Little, little um, um, powered coaster um, <laughs> uh, by Mac Rides. Oh, hello. Hello, happy birthday. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, no worries. My birthday was in August. Oh, I know this. Oh, oh okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great scare acting. Um, we want to go on Storm Surge, but it's on a 30-minute queue. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, we'll let you know what we go on. Um, but yeah, right, let's get on the next, get on the next attraction. Again, we're not sure that's going to be yet. Please remain seated at all times. Keep your arms and legs inside the boat. There we go then. We have been on the uh, River Rapids. Um, I really enjoyed those. We got a re-ride as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Good re ride. Yeah, we well we got a re ride on the swarm as well the last time we went. So yeah, really enjoyed that actually. I uh, I do like myself a good rapids. What do you think the rapids? Did you enjoy them? 
rather dry. Not as good as Drayton in my opinion, but better than Alton Towers. Yeah, the soundtrack I have this up. No, at least these have got waterfalls, Alton Towers. At least this has got a wave machine, Alton Towers. Fix it. Please, do it. Make your rapids better. Like, go to Drayton, learn a few things from them, and they will teach you how to make good rapids. Right, I think we're um, continuing on with this theme of water rides. We're actually heading off to, um, what's it called? Storm Surge? Storm Surge, that's it. We're going to get on Storm Surge. Um, the queue was a bit long for it last time, but we're going to uh, get on it now. Um, it looks to be a bit better. So, we shall um, see ya. Uh, see you at storm surge but yeah i'm quite excited to get on this because apparently you get a bit wet and if there's anything um josh likes it's getting a bit wet isn't it oh i love a bit of moisture love a bit of moisture oh yes right let's go get josh wet <laughs> So we've just come off of Storm Surge um, and walk into the ride. Two good rides. Um, Storm Surge was a bit. How would you describe Storm Surge show? Quite wet. I am still wet. Yeah, my we feet came are quite off wet. Like half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a it's a pretty wet ride. Where are they? Where are those two go? Oh, there they are doing doing vloggy stuff. Vlog on vlog. Vlog on vlog. Yeah, it's very wet. I enjoyed it though for what it was. Um, we're heading towards sundown now, aren't we, Joe? Yeah, we've got 15 minutes. You know what that means? What? Swarm night ride. Swarm night ride. Swarm night ride and stealth night ride. But stealth's been closed for a while, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't know why. So I'll have to see about that. Oh, it's Vortex is that way, by the way. Josh was saying, oh. Josh was saying how it's, uh, it seemed a bit too, it seemed to go a bit too fast, so it might, yeah. that might be over, overdoing it. Sort of yeah, we'll have to see, but we're having a fantastic time here. I should say, today has been phenomenal. It's been one of the best days that Thought Park have had in a very, very long time. Would you agree? Yeah, it's been really good. I've been excited to get to a fight night. So, and to me, it's making it more about this is what Thought Park's about. It's about fright nights. Yeah, it's about fright nights. And I hope they, I mean, their Oktoberfest event was fantastic, but in my opinion, already this is better because of the atmosphere, all the actors. Yeah, the Vivarium theme was good, but this just, this is on another level, I have to say. And talking about another level, we're about to get on another flat ride. This thing, yeah, Vortex. I'm gonna have to crack out that little light soon. What's, what's That's Zodiac? The what? Is that, oh, is that the Enterprise, Zodiac? Yeah. I didn't know what that was then. Right, let's get on this dying KMG afterburner. I've only heard interesting things about this, so I'll have to see how good it is. Are you ready for some KMG action? Some KMG afterburner. KMG afterburner. Like Eagle's Claw at um, uh, Lightwater Valley. That's, that was the best one. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Right, let's get on Vortex. Right, so we've just had a good ride there on Vortex, haven't we? Vortex was one of the better KMG afterburners I've done. Would you agree? What? Would you agree KMG is one of the um, that's one of the best KMG afterburners or one of the one of the better ones? That's decent. I've got a decent bit of air time now. Yeah, like I've heard that it's dying, like most of the flat rides here at Thorpe Park because they're so old. But no, like it was actually quite good. And um, the flat rides surprised me today. They really have. I'm going to try and stay off that thing for as much as possible. Um, although these guys are planning to drag us back on it. Um, we are in the night ride territory now, so it's gonna be less vloggy, more night ride shots, I think. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna go around the scare maze, uh, well, not scare maze, the crow scare zone and show you around there again. And I'm gonna have to crack the little light out soon because the, the lighting's getting quite bad on the camera. Um, so I'll get to test my little new light, my little toy. But yeah, let's go and have a good night ride on Saw the Ride, are you ready for some good, good ghosts? Oh, something has closed. What? Oh, no. Oh, that was one of the rides we were going to get on night, sadly. Nah, that means everybody's going to be going towards Saw the Ride now. But yeah, let's head on this, uh, this Gershlauer Eurofighter of some dubious quality. Look at it, though. 
It looks brilliant in the dark, in my opinion. This whole area looks brilliant in the dark. Yeah. We've passed the point of like dusk now, so we are in we are in the area of the night for night rides. There we go, there's that bad lighting again. Right. I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get on saw the ride again. So, um, we didn't end up going on Saw. Um, in the last clip, I said that we're going to be going on Saw. Um, in fact, it's been quite a bit of time since the last clip, uh, mostly because there's two major coasters shut, Stealth and Colossus, um, and there's currently two flat rides shut, which isn't great, really. Um, I said I was going to use my light. Unfortunately, there's one blaring issue, and that's that the light itself blinds me when I try to walk, so I have no idea where I'm walking. Um, <laughs> So that's a pretty big design flaw. But what we have been on um, was a good ride on uh, Samurai, didn't we? Can't describe how happy that's made me feel. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. It, that was how a top scan is meant to be operated. Um, it was being operated manually. You could tell it was being operated manually. Like you said in your vlog, actually, you could tell that they were playing with it a little bit. Like, I don't know. They're like, they're, it wasn't just you who felt that. Like, I definitely felt that. The question I ask is, why are they like that all the time? Look, look, look at the difference. I guess the park is more quiet now. I mean, again, there are major coasters shut. Thorpe, there are major coasters shut. But we are still having a fantastic time. Um, we didn't end up going on Nemesis Inferno because, again, the queue was way too long for us. Um, we couldn't have waited that long, really, and got on much. So we're heading towards the Swarm instead. Um, I hope you enjoy the off-ride shots, by the way. Um, again, we only really went on Samurai from the coasters and the rides that you saw in the off-ride shots, um, but I thought it was better adding those in there, just to give you a feel for how the park is looking at night. Um, one thing I'd like to see Thorpe do more is light up their coasters at Towers, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, the way that Nemesis is lit up and the way that the smile is lit up, they just don't do that here. Like, look, you can't see the swarm at all there. It's in the light, it's not it. Yeah. I mean, look at stealth. I mean, I know that's short at the moment, but no excuse, light your coasters up. Be proud of your skyline, because you've got such a good skyline, Thorpe. Just do it, go on. I literally said to Zoe a few days before we came that the only thing I changed about Thorpe was the fact that the coasters aren't little. Yeah. This is any other part, is it? Well, most of them. Yeah, most of Most with a good skyline. And to be fair, in the UK, I'd say Fancy Island and Thorpe are the only two parks that have a decently good skyline. Like on Fancy Island skyline, you've got Odyssey and Millennium. Um, and at Thorpe, you've got the big coasters. So I know you can't see me at all now, by the way, but you don't think Blackpool has a good skyline? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about Blackpool. Blackpool does have a very good skyline with a big one, Icon now, all the wooden roller coasters. Again, I apologize if you can't see me, but <laughs> the light is too bright <laughs> for me. But yeah, let's get on the Swarm. One of the only operating coasters, Thorpe, of the night. But again, I don't want that to take away from an absolutely fantastic day. Let's go, let's go.
Hey guys, Ryan in post. I just wanted to give a bit of context to the next clip before you watch it. Um, the last time you saw us um, was at about six, maybe half five o'clock in the evening. Um, and during that time, we only got on a very small handful of rides and all of the major coasters were closed. And that's what I'm talking about here. All the clips that I recorded um, during that time just didn't make sense to add to the vlog um, again, just because the continuity was a bit off because we said we were going to rides and then they were short and yeah it was a bit of a vicious cycle so again keep that in mind when you're watching the last clip right so the last couple of hours have been interesting to say the least the last that um you saw was us in front of the swarm plaza um yeah you didn't get on the swarm did you and you, we, we said that we were queuing for it and we didn't get on it. Unfortunately, we were in the station. The same thing that happened to you last time happened this time. You got right to the front and then it just shot. the gates both times and it shot us both times. We were out of queue, went back in and it happened again. On the front row. And we, yeah, I feel so sorry for you guys. I honestly do Over because... an hour and total we spent queuing out of our night. <laughs> yeah. For nothing. And that's been, and unfortunately, that's been the case with most rides here tonight. It's been a shambles. Um, like most of the major coasters have been down. I can, I can forgive part um, the the park for having issues in their control. Um, without out of their control, sorry, but within their control, I feel like maintenance issues. I feel like they need to step up, and Thorpe didn't step up tonight, unfortunately and it's meant that we we're leaving feeling fairly disappointed now what now the reason i'm not feeling disappointed as much as i would do normally is because we got three rides on in nemesis inferno the ride ops are so so good on nemesis inferno honestly they they let us re-ride like three times didn't they hello hello yes, did, yeah, yeah. Really and it was so so good did you enjoy your three rides on nemesis inferno sorry for shining the bright light i've got the light on by the way <laughs> Yeah, I did. Like, we like. I appreciate that so much. They didn't have to do that for us. No. So, like, appreciate that a lot. And I guess again, it's because we told them as well. We we, we saw was, was talking to the ride up um, while we sat in our seats, and we sort of explained the situation. I feel like that convinced them a little bit to give us um, our re-rides. Um, but again, I want to say a massive thank you because again, without you, we would have left feeling totally distraught, really, in terms of like a night because we've not really had a night because we've not really been in. Been able to get on anything like i've always said i'll be brutally honest in the vlogs and i am being brutally honest we've not had a good night apart from them as inferno and samurai running really really well that's it we got on samurai at the start of the night it just again it's just not great thought sort yourself out because um joe made a good point um for for, for these who don't who don't have the facility to come to thought very for very often um, for them to have an experience like this just doesn't make them want to come back. No. Um, and unfortunately, it happens way too often, and it just doesn't feel like Thorpe cares, in all honesty. And I've talked about for ages about Merlin selling Thorpe, and in my opinion, if they're going to treat it like this, it needs to happen more than ever. Um, or they need to get their stuff sorted out because it's just not good. It's not good. Again, we've been on three rides, or no, sorry, four rides in the space of about Two three and two and a half hours three three four hours um and that's all because everything's been shut like honestly thorpe i can't say this enough please get it sorted out this is the first night right of your major advent what are you doing honestly seriously it's annoyed me that much it really has i'm gonna try and keep myself calm and concise <laughs> Talking about Friday nights then, um, Friday <laughs> nights has been incredible. Um, I think the Crows definitely is a highlight for me and so is uh, Trailers. I absolutely love Trailers so much and I know it's not coming back for next year because it's like a best of maze um, for their 20 year anniversary. But yeah, Trailers was definitely the highlight for me. Um, I loved all of the scare mazes equally. Um, well, not equally, I thought Platform 15 could have been a bit better, but um, it's his last year anyway, so you've got to give it that, really. Um, but yeah, fr Friday Nights as a whole, um, I really like it. Um, I felt like it was better than Alton Towers was last year. Now, one thing that I, Joe mentioned at the start of the vlog was you've got to bear in mind that um, you've got to compare Towers in COVID times. 
um, to Thorpe now, which is not in COVID times. And we'll definitely be comparing it to Orton Towers Scarefest because yeah, I really want to see how they stack up because Alton Towers, like I've said so many times now, have got a lot of recycled mazes and a lot of recycled things for Scarefest this year. Um, so again, we'll definitely see how it compares. But Thorpe, good job on Scarefest, um, on <laughs> Friday night, sorry. Um, honestly, you've done such a good job. Um, did you enjoy the Crow Scare maze and all that? Yeah, it was a nice touch, especially being free of charge as well. It's like yeah. Nice addition. It was a shame they didn't let us film at night because I would definitely would have filmed um, and got you guys some footage for that. But um, I can't blame them for that. You know, I, I guess boundaries are boundaries, but it just felt like they was putting boundaries in for boundaries sake. Um, and it felt a bit anti-vlogger, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. Um, Overall then, the day has been very, very good. We've been on some very good rides. Storm Surge was a fantastic, funny ride, I guess. Um, it was like a little hidden gem, wasn't it, really? Yeah, like, In terms of being it's, fun. It's not something that me and you would ever do on our own, really. No. We look at it and we go, yeah, it's not good enough. But yeah, I think it's, it's just one of those rides you do in a group, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it, it definitely is, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go on my own. And all the roller coasters that were open today in the morning and afternoon were running superbly. They really were. Just too bad, again, Thorpe, that you weren't running most of your coasts in the evening. Honestly, sort that out, because that is appalling. It really, really is. Um, but with the um, with the formalities out of the way, <laughs> um, it's time to end the vlog. If you have liked the video, please smack the like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. This has been Josh. That has been Zoe. Get him, She's to, 100. Get him, get him to get him to hundred. Yes. Subscribe to Joey and Zo um, Joey. Jo I mean, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Zoe and Josh. I'm seeing lights after that, after 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 having that in my face. Yeah. Subscribe to them. Let's get Zoe to 2k and let's get Josh to 100. So these have been Zoe and Josh. This has been Mr. Oakley Doakley. Yeah. And we shall see you in the next video, um, which will be um, on the 10th. We'll be recording on the 10th, which will be Alton Towers. Scarefest. Scare Can't wait to go this year. It's going to be really fun. Let's, let, let's hope they actually have rides open in the evening. Thorpe. Who are you dropping into? <laughs> <laughs> Thorpe. Right. I've been Ryan from my coast, and this has been Joe. This has been Joe and Zoe. I mean, Josh, Josh and, Zoe. and Zoe. And we shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Tiara. Yeah. Yeah. No, what? what? Tiara? Tiara. 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 Tiara